Hi, Michael Essek here, and I just want to walk you through the latest addition to Ideally, which is a new feature that we've just added. It's the latest uh, image AI model from OpenAI, the GPT-40 image generator, or as it's actually called, it's called GPT uh, Image 1. So we've added this as an option here in Ideally. Uh, if you're not familiar with how Ideally works, basically a idea generation suite. So we have various tools to help you come up with original ideas. And then once you've got those ideas, you can come over here and turn them into graphics, turn them into visualizations that you can then use to inspire your designs or use as part of your designs. And we've incorporated most of the major AI models in here, Flux, uh, Ideogram, Recraft, uh, Imogen, and now we've got GPT Image 1 and uh, a higher quality version of that too. So if you have an idea here, like we go for told you so, we can just write the, the phrase or the text, and then we can just say what our subject should be. So a frog in a cowboy hat. And uh, let's just go for retro style and we'll just create this image here. And this is gonna take that prompt and it's gonna send it to the new GPT model. So this is, uh, some of these ones you can see here are using this latest model. As you probably know, it's pretty much the best AI image generation model at the moment. Handles text very well. Uh, its knowledge of the world is very good. Illustration styles are really nice. And there's a lot about it that makes it probably the, the go-to for these nice kind of professional, simple t-shirt designs um, in a way that other models all have slightly different ways of rendering stuff, but I think this is one of the best, um, certainly available right now. So you can see here this uh, nice simple told you so in a kind of vintage style that it's done. Uh, that's using the um, the GPT-1 model, but we also have a higher quality one, which takes a little bit longer to generate, but we can give that one a go as well. Uh, what you'll find with that one is it's just a uh, higher quality image. So it takes longer to render, takes longer to, to produce the the image, but the actual quality of the the pixels and the actual illustration sometimes is a bit more detailed and it's a bit more just higher quality <laughs> in general. So uh, that's going to go and generate that. So we've added these two new models and as you can see from some of these examples, uh, you can kind of tell it has that uh, GPT look about it this kind of uh, slightly orange thing to some of the uh, some of the graphics but in terms of its illustration quality and text rendering and detail and knowledge of the world knowledge of things uh, to illustrate it does a really good job of that as well so here you can see this one's a little bit higher quality than uh, this previous one uh, but you can now go and experiment with that inside ideally. Now I should just say a couple of caveats um, here at the start. Uh, this is, so the, the GPT-1, uh, the model there, the option there, that uh, uses one credit. So that's the same as all our other image generation models that uses one of your uh, 800 image generation credits that you get every month inside ideally. So that's one. But if you do opt to use the uh, GPT-1 HQ, the higher quality one, uh, that will actually use three of your credits. So this is because of the pricing. It's very expensive compared to other models, especially the higher quality one. So um, so yeah, that, that does take three of your credits rather than one uh, for generating a higher quality one. Uh, but you may just want to play around with that uh, when you are uh, maybe trying to just do a final run through or get a higher quality illustration or something like that. So uh, GPT-1 and GPT-1 HQ, uh, you can use uh, the bulk of the visual styles that we have here. And you can see some examples uh, here on your screen of different variations and approaches. Um, the other thing I just want to point out is we've just added a background removal tool as well. So if you, uh, any of the images that you've generated, uh, if you click on the remove background icon down here, you'll be able to go in, uh, pick the image, or sorry, pick the color, the background color from the image, and then just remove that background completely. You can have a little play around with the, the tolerance as well, if you like, depending on the image. Um, and then you can download that background removed image 
uh, and just costs one of your image generation credits. Uh, you can download it as a PNG or you can download it as an SVG and that costs two credits. So I'll just do this one here for the PNG. So this takes a little while, it's going to uh, knock that background out and it's actually um, not going to give you a 1024 by 1024 image, it's going to upscale, it's going to give you an upscaled and background removed image. So it's going to give you a almost ready to upload uh, PNG uh, once this has generated it and that is okay, it's going to save it or offer to save it here and then you can access it here as well. Uh, so that's the, uh, as you can see that black background's been blown out completely, uh, we're just left with the the artwork here and this is a as you can see very highly detailed upscaled uh, 4096 by 4096 version of that image and uh, you can also do that uh, get a vector version of that if you want as well that will just generate an SVG and uh, yeah that's um, a couple of the latest features that we've added here so this works great for um, almost any of these images you can play around with the knocking the backgrounds out uh, with the different kind of uh, threshold that you want to to use. I'm usually wh whacking this up right around 100. Seems to be getting really good results for me. And then those images are ready to use um, should you wish to or you want to make modifications, but it just makes it, gives you that bit more flexibility to use um, those those files for yourself. So this is great for, you know, you've got some kind of short-term trend you want to hop on and you want to produce some designs really quickly. Um, now you don't have to download them, upscale them, open them in Photoshop, mess around with them. You can just knock that background out right here inside Ideally. Uh, only costs one of your credits or two for a vector. And um, yeah, the results are really nice, really crisp and clean. We don't use AI for the background removal. Like uh, you may have seen some different tools that use AI to remove backgrounds. We actually do it in a different way, which means you get a nice clear, crisp image out the other side. And uh, yeah, it's really, I think, a lot better than some of the other ones out there. And it produces these nice crisp results, which are much more useful when it comes to uploading and using them in your designs. Uh, one final thing, we've also recently added an illustration only mode. So if you do want to just generate a graphic, say, for example, of a uh, frog in a cowboy hat, um, you can just select the illustration only mode and that will just generate a version of that illustration with no text so you again you've got the flexibility there to uh, produce a graphic that's maybe you want to add the text yourself maybe you want to redraw it or you want to do some kind of changes to it uh, but you don't have to always now generate some some text with these uh, images that you're uh, generating with AI in the first place so that's going to be generating that one there like I say with this new GPT model it's a little bit slower than some of the others, uh, it takes a little while, but it's actually um, really nice results. I'm pretty pleased. It's it's actually quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, when uh, when this first launched, it seemed like maybe this this was going to be taking ages and ages, but actually this is coming out really nice, uh, coming back relatively fast. The results are, um, I would say, pretty much the best in terms of being a professional looking design, getting text right, getting details right, not over complicating and just not making weird mistakes and loads of little artifacts and weird stuff like that. So um, have a play around with it inside Ideally, see what you think. This is the vectorized version here, the SVG. You can see this is an SVG file. Well, maybe you can't see that, but it is an SVG uh, with the background removed. So this is uh, obviously fully scalable. This is not a PNG. This is an SVG that you can then, uh, you know, scale up to whatever size you want. Um, and of course you can just come download this anytime you like. It's going to be saved for you there inside your Ideally account. So that's um, the latest update on Ideally, GPT Image 1 or GPT-1 as we're calling it here. Uh, have a play around with it. Uh, just be aware that HQ, that's going to take you three credits. That's going to cost you three credits for generating one of those. Uh, GPT-1 is going to just use one credit. The results are not vastly different. Uh, it's just kind of more detail in the high quality one. It's a better quality, uh, more kind of, uh, what's the word, kind of compacted pixels and stuff. It just looks cleaner. Um, 
And uh, yeah, and if you spot any issues or you got any feedback or ideas, uh, use the little feedback uh, button over here um, to send me your thoughts and feedback and any bugs that you hit along the way. But that's uh, GPT-1 inside Ideally. And also we've now got the background remover tool. We've got the vectorization tool. Uh, upscale tools are now all here inside Ideally, all built in. So you don't have to go elsewhere for your background removal. You don't have to go elsewhere to vectorize. There's all these tools now built inside Ideally and included in your account. So hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, michael at michaelessig.com or you can use the feedback here inside Ideally. Uh, but enjoy and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.